Hey, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you one more thing about the table view. Um, in the last video, we used we drag out a table view from the object palette in, into a blind navigation view, right? A, a, into a blind view controller. Well, why is that? Because we also have a table view controller like this. Let's drag one out. Well, when we drag out one table view controller out, we have all things to be set up. So let's um, change it into 4.7 really quick. Okay. So we all we have everything set up for us. And if we see over here, we have the data source, the delegates to set up to this table view controller. Why we want to use this table view prototype. I'm sorry, this table view that we drag out from this. Well, the reason is sometimes, just sometimes, we want to um, our view, the big view right here, just not have just the whole table view. Maybe we want something like um, a little table view and some other images. Let's see it. Okay. Let's um, drag out another view controller like that. Okay. And I have, let's copy this table view. Okay. So I can drag that table view to fill the whole thing like that. So I want to have a table view that is this small, like this. Okay. Okay. So we just have this portion of the view to be has this table view. And let's say I want to have a label some, somewhere like that. I want to have a text text fill. Yeah, I mean, it's dumb, but like sometimes we want that, okay? We want a small table view and we want other thing down below or other thing in the view. So that's why we want to drag out a table view and then we have to set it. Well, an example of that is if you use Spotify in that browse browse the playlist of Spotify. The first thing is we have that album um, scribes left, right, right. And down below we have that list is a table view. So they have to implement that way. So right now I would delete that. But for now, for this, I want to use this one because uh, later on we will see why we want to use it, okay? So let's do it very quick. So over here I will change it to be subtitle and the identifier is product cell and this select that the image to be iPad okay and also it let's embed or maybe we can just control drag from this one to this one and I want it to be the root view controller okay like that and this one will be done out okay so for this one i would have to change the class of this to be apple products dot table view okay so that should be good except this one it should be pretty apple okay so let's run it should work the same way as we have before okay so we have that so right now it looks just like the same well why do i say that it has uh, something else well let's go over the um, main dot storyboard and over here let's have a little uh, accessory so over the accessory of the table view i select the table view cell like that and the accessory to be disclosure indicator meaning that there's something you can tap here and it will take me to another um, view controller. Let's drag out a table view controller, a view controller, I'm sorry, like that. And I will control drag from this cell to this, okay, to this view controller. And I will show a segue. So this is a show segue. It will push from this into this. Later on, we will use this as a view, a detailed view for this product. Okay, so let's run. Okay, so now we can click on that. There's that, okay. So what it does for us is this table view controller 
it already pre, uh, implements those methods that we click on that okay and when we return this selection that gray thing is disappears well it implement those things for us and some of the other things later on we, we will use if we use this table views uh, that we drag out from the object palette if we want to use that we will have to implement those ourselves I mean it is not hard to do those it is just a matter of several lines of code but if we just want to have a table view that is uh, takes the whole screen then just use the table view okay if we want to have um, many other views on a thing on a view on the screen then use a table view that we drag out from the object palette.